I have never considered myself religious. There is no doubt I have been influenced greatly by religions throughout my life, via school and early childhood teachings. However, no religious expressions or supernatural beliefs have ever really been a governing factor in my life. But the more I think about it, the more I really stop and think about it, the more conflicted I become. And it's an agony of sorts, because there's one sole thing at the core of all this bother. It's not what happens after death, or what is the meaning of life. It's how. How does everything exist? One of the greatest questions of all. How and why is everything? As far as science can tell, the Big Bang started everything. All of space and time, alongside all the energy in existence, was created at one key moment. Obviously, there are lots of different takes about the exact details. Some people arguing time existed and space still existed. It was just all the energy that was created in the Big Bang. Some takes on the matter start going into parallel universes. And yeah, that seems more science fiction right now, or just a little bit too complex for my simple brain. So I started thinking about all the possible ways the universe could have been created for a simpleton like me to understand. And my first memory was of a conversation with a close friend. When I was around 13, we were talking about our beliefs, and my friend told me that if there is infinite time, then there is an infinite chance of the universe existing. It was quite clever, but no. That just still doesn't make sense to me. Because just because you give something an infinite amount of time to exist doesn't mean it necessarily will. That would be like saying if the only thing in existence was a match, and the match was indestructible, then eventually, if enough time passes, the match will light. Which doesn't really make sense, because the match needs some sort of spark. It still needs a spark. So I decided that although what they said was clever and quite interesting, it had to be flawed. Well, I looked into it a lot, and truth be told, I got quite confused by a lot of the things I read. But the main consensus is that, no, if you give something infinite time, or have an infinite chance of something happening, it does not mean it will happen. Okay, so we go back to the original point. How did it all start? Well, a popular theory that accompanies the Big Bang is the Big Crunch, which states the universe will stop expanding and start retracting until it meets in one singular point, and explodes again, creating another universe in the process. Like a phoenix, the universe is destined to be born and die for eternity. But even if this is the case, it still has to start somewhere, right? There still needs to be a beginning. If you trace the cycle back long enough, there has to be a universe one. And that universe one had to be created by something. And that something has to be created by something else. Or that something simply abides by rules that are beyond our comprehension. And that is when I found it. The simple answer to the question. Humans can't possibly begin to understand what created the universe because its complexity exists outside the confines of everything. It has transcended ancient because it may exist in a place where time does not. So this may sound familiar and probably is to you if you have heard or roughly understand what agnosticism is, which basically states a higher power is unknowable. However, where it differs is agnostics typically believe in one god or higher power, whereas my take is more broad. Whatever predates the universe doesn't necessarily have to be singular, nor does it have to be sentient. It could have just been a type of energy that predates all other forms of energy that exist in our universe now, which I believe will still be inconceivable to the human mind. I'm not saying I wholeheartedly believe this, and that there isn't a possibility for a godly being to exist that is very much similar to a human being, as many religions do believe that, for example, Christianity, that humans were made in the likeness of God, and thus God created us with the intention of humans being similar to him and eventually joining him in heaven. There is also the short story, The Egg, which proposes that the universe is a collective intelligence that is slowly evolving through shared experiences. And this theory was proposed by Andy Weir in his book, and it's quite interesting. But I suppose the overall point is that I really don't know, and I believe that there's a good chance humans will never know.
Okay, so there were a lot of things that this video did miss out, like the concept of infinity going negative because you can have negative infinity. They also avoided the possibility that we could be living in a simulation, which is something that a lot of really smart people have said is not impossible. And so many other theories and just worldviews and beliefs. But ultimately, I made it with the intention of better understanding my ideas myself, because I still haven't fully flushed it out. I mean, obviously, if my conclusion is that it's a concept that is, you know, unimaginable and or conceivable to a human being, then I suppose it'll take a long time for me to fully grasp the concept.